the eBlue Mazer, what's it like? This package arrived in Amazon the other day, and so I decided to test it. This is the eBlue Mazer, obviously a ripoff of the Mazer, and it's got 2.4 GHz wireless. Mm, which is impressive, it's got 2000 DPI for a cheap mouse. This was £11 on Amazon, which I thought I might buy. So it's got ultimate batteries apparently, and um, quick spin around to the back. Macam Windows, a lovely Chinese verification sticker there, even more Chinese or Korean or something, and then the Amazon thingy. So we go and open this box. I'm quite impressed by the packaging considering it's um, a fake. And we pull off the protective foam, which they usually don't supply. And there's the mouse, no wrapping or anything. So we take it out of the box. And first thing we can see is the eBlue sign, 2.4 GHz wireless. And what I was confused about is this 3000 FPS thing. 2500 DPI, which is excellent. And then we've got the DPI switch there and the scroll button. And obviously this is like a very nice mouse because it's split into two sections. I quite like that. So we can see that the blue rings around the side are where the lights are going to come on when I install the batteries. Um, this, I've noticed that the back black, the black back bit um, marks quite easily, so if you've got greasy hands or something, stay away from this. Um, so we've just lots of, again, Chinese stuff, and then that little bit at the back there will fit the um, dongle, and then there's obviously the battery pack there. So picking up the dongle, we can see that it's very, very small. So it will go, won't go flush with your computer, but no one will notice it's there. It's very nice instead of having a huge thing poking out the back. So that's very small. We'll put that back down there. Okay, and yeah, it does actually fit in the bottom. So that is a little storage device right there. So when you're taking it and traveling around with it, you can just put it in your pocket or in a case somewhere. So batteries it supplies with are Kendall batteries. I think these are British or they're certainly not Chinese brand, which I was quite impressed about. Or they may be, I haven't looked it up yet. So quick unpackaging of these. It's good that they're actually wrapped and not half used. Now I noticed when taking this back bit off, it was really, really quite difficult until you, you sort of have to get the right bit to pull it out. You can notice there's a bit of the PCB sticking out there, which is not brilliant, but it works. So as soon as we put the batteries in, it's turned on, which is excellent. Pop the back back on, and there we go. So there's three different modes to this. There's off, on and light on. So on if you want to save a bit of battery and light on if you want to look like a bounce. So there we go, switched it on to on and then lights on. So I'll have a quick tour with the lights and look really really quite nice. And then obviously you can see that the Mazer logo is lit up. Now this balance ring is really really nice. It stops when like for long using uh, for long usage it stops your thumbs scuffing on it. The scrolling's quite nice um, and so are the clicking. And there's also a little support for your uh, third finger. And then there's some um, uh, two other buttons at the bottom there. You can see the scroll wheel from the bottom. So we'll turn this back off. And my overall impressions are very good. So let's have a look at me using it. So here we go. Let's just turn it on without the lights on. There we go. So it's really, really comfortable to hold. My thumb doesn't scrape on the floor. The clicks are very satisfying. Scrolling is clicky, but um, it's not smooth, but I quite like that in a mouse. So you can see the DPI switch, it flashes for the amount of DPI it's on, so setting one, two, or three. Um, it's very nice to move, very smooth. The pads on the bottom are good. Um, and the button, uh, the, sec the fourth and fifth buttons work very well. So I'll turn it on to light and see how this looks. Very, very nice. I'll just do a bit of scrolling around with it again. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.